Hey guys, welcome to Ham Radio with K0PIR, my YouTube channel. I've got a PL259 connector here. I get these off of eBay, and I really love them. They're compression connectors. They're a good solid material, and they work really well. You can see it has multiple pieces inside. I'm just pulling them out, separating them, showing what they look like. I'll have some pictures on my website, www.k0pir.us, and that'll give you a, a better view of it. I've got a jumper here, a piece of coax that I want to make for my amplifier. It'll go between the amplifier and the antenna tuner, so I want to use a piece of RG8. And then I have a ferrite that I'm going to wrap this around. So here's the RG8. It's just a scrap piece that I pulled out of the garage. I'm going to slide that first piece on. I want to make sure that I don't forget it. And then I'm going to cut about an inch and a half off. And this is real easy to do if you have a sharp knife or a box cutter like that. This RG8 is easy to work with. It's pretty soft and pliable. So I got the outside cover off and actually I could have slipped those other pieces on there. I'm going to pull that one apart. It's got two rings. One is larger than the other, and the largest one goes over the coax, slides down, and then we'll put that plastic piece on. And then the next is the smaller, it looks like a washer, and the coax will stop that piece. It won't slide all the way over the coax. It gets stopped by the outer cover. And then there's this, uh, this piece that slides in and it will go between the shield and the center. So it slides down in there. Right over the foam and it goes, so it goes between the shield and the foam. Now all I have to do is cut off the shield My snippers weren't all that sharp, so I'm gonna pull out some scissors I had and just trim that shield off nice and try to get it as neat as I can. When I cut that foam and pull it off, I just wanna make sure that shield doesn't touch any part of the center wire. The nice thing about it is I don't have to solder the shield and sometimes when uh, I would solder those old PL259s, I ended up melting the, the foam. So this PL259 is compression. It's a compression PL259. And when I tighten it up, you'll see it uh, creates a solid connection. I'm using this inside so I won't wrap any tape or any shrink wrap around this one. Using them outside, I'd wrap tape around it just as a precaution. So 
So I've got a couple of wrenches and one of them is a 17 millimeter. And then that's a 5 8 inch. Have a little trouble slipping it on. But I'm trying to hold it underneath the camera at the same time. So it's a little bit more difficult. So I'm just going to tighten it up and compress it down. Make it flush against each other and make it nice and tight and then solder the center wire. So the last step is to solder that centerpiece. Got my soldering gun out, let it heat up. Just put a little bit of solder on that centerpiece and we'll be done. Soldering that, I'm going to snip the center wire and then clean it up just a little bit with a knife. And that's it. Well, that one was so much fun, I think I'll show you again. I'm going to do the other end and I'll speed this one up a bit. I never enjoy putting ends on coax, but these. PL250 mines really make it enjoyable. And again, I'll have some pictures on my website, www.k0pir.us. And I'll also have a link below to show you where I got them. Okay, you'll notice I did things slightly different on this last one. Just trying to get this procedure perfected. And I don't think it worked out any better than the first time. So it's done. And I'm going to use this piece of coax between my amplifier and my tuner. I'll put a link below where I got this ferrite core. So thanks for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Also, tell your friends. 73 and good DX.